Hello, my name is Cinder, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on the input system of Unity. I guess specifically it's the, the input class, and all you have to do is you just have to go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and that'll bring this whole menu here, which in order, if you want to add more, all you have to do is just put 21, and it'll give you a copy of the bottom one. And this is how you do this in script. There, are, as you can see here, there are a lot of defaults. Uh, a couple of these I added. I think yours won't have joyst joystick horizontal, and it won't have joystick vertical or X and Y. But the rest of these should all show up. And these are what's going to show up in your launcher for Unity. And if you want to mess with that, you just go to the player settings. And then you have display resolution dialog, and you want to turn that to uh, disabled. And this will get rid of your your launcher window, which I would recommend if you're going to make a game in Unity. You don't need the launcher. You can put all your settings in your settings menu of your game, and most people would prefer it that way. It also kind of paints a, a poor impression for someone when they're used to all of these bad games with Unity launchers that don't have those same settings inside of the game, it's just not not a pleasant perception of your game. So yeah, again, that's just uh, that's just in the player settings, and then just disable it here, and then that won't pop up. But normally on the launcher, that's where you would see the ability to rebind keys, but it's very easy to do in-game. So as you can see here in this script, a couple of the ones that I've set up are joystick X, mouse X is a default one, and then uh, joystick horizontal. So these are for movement, or the ones I set up for joystick horizontal, because uh, this whole script is made to switch between using a mouse and keyboard and using a controller dynamically. So that way all of this happens, like if I were to touch a key on a keyboard, my game would switch over to becoming uh, looking for keyboard inputs as opposed to controller inputs which is a script I'm going to go into in more detail later. And so this is how you would call this in script. You'll just see input.getAxis if you're doing some sort of movement thing, because the joystick horizontal, this calls the uh, left thumbstick, which you set up here in the input panel, right here. So input horizontal, and then this is just the x-axis, which... Uh, naturally sets up this actually the the movement the left right forward movement forward and back movement that would normally be mapped to was these work automatically under the horizontal and vertical axes that you have so I you can call this like I could call this just horizontal the same as this if I wanted and it would work just as well but I chose to differentiate them just so I if I want to change any of the settings for using a controller versus using a mouse and keyboard, which they do have a very different feel to them, so that's why I separated these so that you can actually control their settings independently. And this is another one that I added, which is joystick X and joystick Y. These are set for a Xbox controller, which is the fourth axis and fifth axis. For looking left and right, it's the fourth axis, and for looking up and down, it's the fifth axis, which these are all just enumerations which you can set up, and I basically base these on the other axes, like the mouse X, mi mixing these settings with the default uh, the default joystick settings that they have, and comes out feeling rather natural. So for mouse and keyboard, you get a lot more control if it'll start for me. You get a lot more control over the movement left or right. It's a little bit more one-to-one -one motion. And then if I want to switch over to a keyboard or a controller, it works just as well. It's a little bit more smooth. And this is also how you would uh, this is also how you would set up any sort of input for the mechanics of your game. So if you just want like one key to be jumped, and then all you need to do is go into the input manager, add another one here and then you would name this jump. If you want your jump to be referencing a specific joystick button in order to have all of your mechanics mapped to buttons on the keyboard, 
all you need to do is have it in here, name it jump, and then have it reference to a joystick button. And then in script, you just need to say input dot get button down or get button up or just get button depending on how you want to use it in your script. And then in parentheses, you would just write jump. And then this would, because this is named jump as well as this one, which references space, it will take either one of these inputs, whether whether you want it to take the joystick button or if you want to take spacebar, both of those will have the same result, which is jumping. So what this can do is it can make switching between controller and mouse and keyboard a lot easier on you if you want to go through all of this. But another way that I have to do it, or that I've been using, is simply having a variable that is of the type key code and then of a type and then uh, referencing that to whatever I want the default to be. And what this gives you in the inspector is it gives you this, which is like an enumeration drop box. So you can switch these easily. If I want backspace to be my my sprint key, I can just go in here and go up and down and pick it through here. So that's another way you can do it for testing and once you're ready to actually solidify your mechanics, you can go into the input panel and do it all through there. All right, guys, so that was just a quick tutorial on the input manager and making your own inputs for this class in Unity. Thanks for watching. Bye.